Well, I went to TJ Maxx today and I did a purse video, but of course I had to do a second one because the tape just dropped midstream. And so I had to do it again. And here I got a little friend there, Tiger. <laughs> oh, he has to look around here. Come here, baby. Okay, so anyways, I did my, my purse video and um, I'm gonna upload those, but also I did I did do get some shopping done. I wanted to find my Dr. Bronner soap, but I wasn't able to find that. But I did find some other soaps and everything. A lot of things were on sale. Um, I don't know what I I got what I got on sale. This is um, essential oil and bath salts that I got, and it has. Ginger root, lemongrass, and rosemary. And it was kind of hard to see. I had my glasses on. But everything looked pretty natural in here. Um, I didn't see any red dye number five or any weird colors. So this looks pretty good. It's got, um, oh, it's got like clear carry sage oil, all sorts of oils here. Boom, 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 boom. And it doesn't seem to have anything bad. And that was $4.99. So that was, that was not bad. And then I got two of these, two of these, and I've had this before and I really like it. And this here. And this is patchouli, they're both the same. It's aromatherapy therapy, herbal soap. And that also uh, is 100% natural, but you still gotta look. Let's see, where's the ingredients? Hmm. Oh, it's on this on the soap. But this is patchouli essence, and I love patchouli. That's what I wear. My scent. I don't like perfumes. They they don't like, they don't smell good on me. I don't like a cute chemical smell. What do they call that? A uh, undernote. There's notes that I don't like. Okay, then I got this. You can get this brand at Target. I've seen. And this is bubble bath and body wash, mango, butter, and green coffee bean extract. And it's contouring, firming, smoothing, and it helps elasticity, which I don't have hardly any in my skin. And it says bubble bath, in which I like, I love taking baths, by pouring capful of warm luxury and then rinse thoroughly even though all the bubble baths today they say rinse it off so then you got to shower it off and this brand i hope it's not too bad i think this one's pretty good good it's cruelty free and um i got that and what else they oh i get a couple of things here uh, Masan, I think that's how you say this. I got this uh, hand and body lotion because, boy, I was out in the sun gardening last week. And, oh, my goodness, my back. You know, I was out too long. I wasn't, you know, I had I got a sunburn on my back. So that's this will be good for that. And then for hand soap for the sink, um, this is for this kitchen sink. I, I like a good soap there. And this is uh, pure coconut, and it's a la Masson, French, imported soap from France for hand and body. And this one, ingredients is palm, coconut oil, vegetable, glycerin, shea butter, argan oil, mineral pigments, and or clay. Hmm. Fragrance blended with plant extracts or essential oils. Okay, fragrance blended. Okay, so what's in the fragrance? Yeah, that's the part you gotta wash out for. But that's that's my haul, what I got today. I didn't get any of those Dooney bags, and I don't think I was tempted. I like the red. I, I just ordered those bunch of Dooney bags. I'm so happy with those zip zips that I got that um, I'm happy with that. And today I wore my, my pink Hold on, I'll go get it. My my pink uh, coach robe. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Um, that's what I wore today. And when I went to the store, I spent about thirty-two dollars on all my soaps and stuff. Funny, all that stuff adds up, huh? But anyways, I should have had a crossbody to bring into the store. 
but because um, I didn't have nothing to um, put my keys in because if I videotape the purses there I need you know one hand to hold the camera and the other hand to to open the bags and I had no um, place to put my keys so I did bring my purse in and this is my 31 roll peony pink and it has that nice suede can you see it here you've probably all seen these before I got my face mask in here tuck it on the side it has that brass hardware and this is how I use the bag. I use it as a shoulder strap, and then a lot of times I'll be carrying it by the handle. I'll use it by the handle, and then I quick use the shoulder straps for when I want to be hand-free. And um, it's the 1941 with the soft pebbled leather, and this one is pretty mushy. This is um, pretty thin, but it's a beautiful bag. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'd sell it, but I think I'm going to keep it now. Um, I got it at 70% off, so that's a really good price. And I got my same things in here. Remember, now I got six things. Oh, today I had something extra. I had sunglasses and my gum. And, oh, a glove. And uh, I have my makeup, so my keys with the hand sanitizer. And usually when I go grocery store, this is all I bring in, and then I have my money here on the side. And I love these little doony little coin cases. They're so nice. And I do have something in here I don't want to lose, so I do. I took this part off, and I put the chain through here, and that kind of holds it, holds it closed, because a lot of times you pull, you know, this keychain in here will kind of open up the inside. I didn't want that to happen. And then a little something here for extra. And you can see I've been using sanitizer on it, so I did discolor it a little bit over here. But that's okay. What else have I got? Oh, my, my earbuds. My earbuds and charger. Um, I love this thing. Let's make sure it's okay. I guess it's okay. This is so great. Money, money, money. Um, this is uh, the uh, hobo. Hobo and wallet. And this is so wonderful. I just love this thing. You can put coin back here. It has that pretty interior. And it's so soft. So soft and luscious. It really is nice. You know, I had bypassed a great big one at... Uh, um, what was it, Nordstrom Rack one day, and that was really too bad. I don't like putting it on the tight where it's too full right now, but I don't want to stretch it out until I have to. But it's been holding up. But anyways, I was trying to say, I, there was a great big one with it, about this big, and then it had a kiss lock on the top, and then open and slots, and I believe it was in this color, and it was at, uh, um, uh, oh, I just said it too at the outlet um, Nordstrom Rack and I passed it by. Now I really wish I had gotten it and then I've seen it again in gray but that's not as pretty as this color. And this kind of holds open here but that's okay. Um, but that's my billfold with my ID and stuff. And we saw that in my brush. So now I got one, two, three, four, five, and my phone makes six. Then I always make sure I have everything I need when I go out the door. Sunglasses, yeah. I mainly wear these outside here because if I'm reading, it's the sun is just too intense for my eyes. And anyway, so that's my beautiful robe. With the brass hardware, the 41. It's got this beautiful little horse and carriage on here. And it does have the feet on the bottom, and it says here, um, genuine glove tanned pebble leather. And that's. And I was going to do a comparison between this and the uh, Doonies. Um, I do have a pebble leather Dooney, and I've said this before. I love the Coach. Um, 
The Dooney is a less expensive brand, not unless you get into the Florentine uh, leathers, but generally Coach commands a higher price, but the quality of the Dooney's is really nice also. But look how beautiful that slouchy bag is. Isn't that gorgeous? I saw a light blue one one time, and when I was at the outlets before the pandemic, they had this in kind of a, a beautiful Sierra brown. And uh, that was gorgeous, and they also had it in a small and a blue. The only thing with these, I've got one with some snake detail, but this isn't in snake. I like one with more snake detail. And I don't know if I'm going to find any more rogues at the outlet. I haven't been to the back to the outlet yet. And I don't know what they have and don't have. But, boy, these rogues really are beauties, aren't they? They're really nice. They're so soft. And um, doonies are really nice, too. I like them both, I guess. All right, thank you for watching. And uh, there's a lot of uh, movement on the lake today, a lot of boats out. It's the weekend, so we've got all that nice waves hitting the bank there. We got a, a concrete wall down there, so the it, uh, water hits there. We never get flooded here. Someone asked me if we ever get flooded, but we don't. And um, the house has no basement, of course, just sand, just a crawl space. And because uh, it would get, couldn't build this close to the lake anymore. And we're about 18 feet from the lake here. So, let's see. There's the front stoop. Front stoop. And then uh, from the top of the stoop to the door, it's 18 feet. And there's our wall. Okay, house is probably built about. Um, Oh, early 1900s, I would say. All right, there used to be a lot of cabins here in the front yard. There used to be about six cabins, and we have a boathouse, but what it really is is a bathhouse. It used to be a bathhouse, and this was many years ago. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.